When we think of British vehicles, we often imagine sleek sports cars or classic luxury rides. But what about semi-trucks? Britain has a rich history of manufacturing some of the toughest and most unique trucks, though many of them are now super rare. In fact, some of these trucks were so limited in production that finding one today would be like spotting a unicorn on the highway. So, in this video, we're going to explore some of the rarest British semi-trucks ever made. Let's take a ride through history and see what makes these trucks so special, from their innovative designs to their pros and cons. Number 10. Thornycroft Antar. The Thornycroft Antar was a behemoth, originally designed as a military tank transporter in the 1950s. Later, civilian versions were made, and they became some of the rarest trucks to ever come out of Britain. Powered by a Rolls-Royce eight-cylinder diesel engine, the Antar could produce around 270 horsepower. Its fuel consumption was poor, averaging around three to four miles per gallon, but its purpose was to haul massive loads, not save on fuel. The civilian Antars were used in heavy industries, but very few were produced. Due to their size and specialized use, most were scrapped when their working life was over. Today, the Thornycroft Antar is one of the rarest British trucks, with only a handful left in existence. Number nine, Guy Big J. The Guy Big J was a truck that stood out during the 1960s for its combination of strength and simplicity. Guy Motors, based in Wolverhampton, produced the Big J to compete with other heavy-duty trucks on the market. The Big J was equipped with a Gardner or Rolls-Royce engine, with horsepower ranging from 180 to 240, depending on the configuration. Its fuel efficiency was around seven miles per gallon, which was standard for the time. The truck was known for its robustness and ease of maintenance. However, Guy Motors struggled to keep up with competition, and the Big J eventually faded from the market. Today, it's a rare find, with only a few well-preserved models left in the UK. Number eight, Foden S21, AKA the Mickey Mouse. Let's start with the Foden S21, often affectionately nicknamed the Mickey Mouse truck because of its distinctive round headlamps. This truck, built in the 1950s in Elworth, England, stood out with its futuristic bubble-like design. The Foden S21 was powered by the Gardner 6LW diesel engine, which produced 112 horsepower. While reliable, it wasn't known for speed. In terms of fuel consumption, the S21 managed about eight to nine miles per gallon, which wasn't exactly efficient. One of its biggest strengths was its incredible reliability. The Gardner engines were practically indestructible. However, it had its downsides. Performance-wise, it was pretty slow, and its aerodynamics weren't great, especially at higher speeds. Today, finding an S21 is incredibly rare, as most of them have either been scrapped or are sitting in museums. Number seven, Atkinson Borderer. The Atkinson Borderer is one of those trucks that, if you ever come across one, you've stumbled upon a piece of trucking history. These trucks were produced during the 1960s and early 70s and were known for their distinctive bulldog front end. Most of these trucks came with Gardner engines like the 6LXB or the 6LW, known for their long-lasting durability. The 6LXB version could generate around 180 horsepower, which was decent for the time. Its fuel consumption averaged about seven miles per gallon, which wasn't ideal, but fairly typical for that era. One of its biggest advantages was its reliability and toughness, making it a popular choice for long haul drivers. However, it did have its flaws. The cab design was basic and uncomfortable for drivers, especially on longer trips, and it wasn't the most powerful truck in its class. Today, the Atkinson Borderer is a rare collectible due to the brand's eventual merger with ERF, which ended production. Number six, ERF LV series. Speaking of ERF, the LV series is another rare gem on our list. ERF, founded by Edwin Richard Foden, had a history of making durable trucks, and the LV series, introduced in the 1960s, was no exception. It typically came with Gardner 6LX engines, which provided around 150 to 180 horsepower. In terms of fuel efficiency, the LV series averaged about eight miles per gallon, making it more efficient than some of its counterparts. One of the best features of the LV series was its durability. It was designed with simple parts, making it easy to maintain and repair. 
However, it wasn't particularly fast or powerful, which limited its appeal for drivers who needed to haul heavier loads. Despite its reliability, the LV series didn't see large-scale production, and today it's considered a rare find on the roads. Number 5. Leyland Road Train Now, the Leyland Road Train is one of those trucks that tried to revolutionize the game but didn't quite get there. Introduced in the late 1970s, the road train was supposed to be Leyland's big answer to the growing demand for more powerful and efficient trucks. It was powered by a Rolls-Royce 265L engine, offering about 265 horsepower, making it one of the stronger trucks of its time. However, it was known for being quite fuel thirsty, managing around 6 to 7 miles per gallon. The road train had plenty of pulling power, making it ideal for heavy loads. Unfortunately, the design of the cab wasn't the most comfortable for long drives, and the truck was plagued by reliability issues. Leyland's struggles as a company also hurt the road train's success, making it a rare truck today. The Leyland road train could have been more successful if Leyland had fixed its reliability issues, but as it stands, it's a rare find for truck enthusiasts. Number 4. Seddon Atkinson 401 the Seddon Atkinson 401, introduced in the early 1980s, was another truck that didn't quite get the spotlight it deserved. Known for its boxy design, the 401 had some notable features, but it's extremely rare today. It was usually fitted with either Cummins or Rolls-Royce engines, which could produce around 290 horsepower. In terms of fuel consumption, the 401 wasn't particularly efficient, averaging about 6 miles per gallon. Despite its less-than-efficient fuel economy, the 401 was known for its durability and could handle heavy-duty work. Many drivers liked it for its pulling power. But the truck's boxy design wasn't very attractive, and it wasn't the most comfortable ride for long hours on the road. After Seddon Atkinson was taken over by Iveco, the 401's production was limited, and today it's an extremely rare truck to find. Number 3. Scammel Crusader Finally, we arrive at the rarest of the rare, the Scammell Crusader. Scammell, a British truck company, was known for building trucks that were designed for military and heavy-duty applications. The Scammell Crusader, introduced in the 1970s, was a beast of a truck built for long-haul and heavy-duty applications, but production numbers were low. It was powered by a Rolls-Royce Eagle engine that could deliver up to 350 horsepower, which was massive for its time. However, with that power came a hefty fuel consumption rate, averaging just 5 to 6 miles per gallon. The Crusader was incredibly powerful and capable of hauling very heavy loads, making it a favorite for industries that needed serious strength. But it wasn't all perfect. Its size and weight made it difficult to handle, and its fuel consumption was a major downside. Additionally, production numbers were low, so today the Scammell Crusader is one of the rarest trucks you can find. Number 2. Foden Alpha The Foden Alpha was one of the last trucks produced by the Foden brand before the company was absorbed by Pocker in the early 2000s. Introduced in the 1990s, the Alpha was designed to compete with modern European trucks. It came with a choice of Cummins or Caterpillar engines, producing between 300 and 400 horsepower. The Alpha was relatively fuel efficient, averaging around 8 miles per gallon. Although the Alpha was well regarded for its build quality and performance, Foden's declining fortunes meant that production numbers were limited. Today the Alpha is rare, with only a few examples left in use or in collections. Finally, at number 1, we have the ERF ECX Olympic Edition. Produced in 2000, this truck was a special limited edition model designed to celebrate the Sydney Olympics. The ECX came with a Cummins engine producing around 400 on horsepower. Fuel consumption was decent for its time, at about 7 to 8 miles per gallon. Only a small number of these trucks were produced, making the Olympic edition one of the rarest British semi-trucks ever made. Most were bought by collectors, and finding one on the road today is nearly impossible. From tough workhorses like the Atkinson Borderer to powerful haulers like the Leyland Road Train, these British trucks have earned their place in history. Even though you won't see many of them on the road today, their stories and innovations continue to inspire truck designers and enthusiasts around the world. If you enjoyed learning about these rare British trucks, make sure to hit subscribe for more videos like this.